Good evening. Gamers. It's lovely to be here. Hello. Tonight we're continuing our adventure in Pokemon Emerald. Emerald. <laughs> Platinum. Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it real good and real good and nice and forever. And nobody can stop us. Here we go. Last time we beat Maylene's gym. This time we're continuing on our adventure. Um, we're gonna take down Team Galactic with their uh, Uh, at their their base of operations here, but first we gotta heal up our dudes. take a look at Garfield already? I feel like we didn't. Stall. Pokemon moves after even slower foes. So, Garfield is always gonna move last. Which is not ideal, but could be worked around if we ever have to use him. <clears throat> I mean, God willing, we just won't have to, but if we do, he's always going to be used. He's always going to move last in battle, which is less than optimal, but optimal play is not necessary, nor is it particularly interesting in a lot of cases careful nature let's see careful is um minus special attack plus special defense that's actually good we like that we like that we enjoy that take it every day of the week yeah special attack stat was already quite bad so not having as much does not hurt us at all and having extra special defense is good because Garfield moves last, but for now, Garfield's gonna stay in the box, and we're gonna take down the Veilstone City Galactic Base. Yeah, let's take him on. Scarlet and Jimmy. Scarlet and Jimmy, Jimmy of Diglett and Pidgey. That's nice. <clears throat> it's a shame they're both gonna die. Nice job, fish tacos. Present. Well, at least it was the kind of present that did damage instead of healed. That's something. Present missed. Wow. Why can it miss? Oh, that's going to do a lot. Oh, the first hit of rollout almost killed. That's extremely funny. Okay, fish tacos getting switched out. That's fine. She was having some trouble there anyway, so I don't mind Ganondorf being out here. I'm gonna bite Sandshrew, because I don't wanna take a Oh no, it's 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 locked into rollout, so I 
And roll it, I believe, is going to continue targeting Delibird. So we can safely take out Pidgey. Oh! That time it was the kind of present that healed. Although, it healed for a very small amount of damage. Wow. Delibird is bad, huh? I wish it weren't. It's funny. Mantine. Love disc. Okay, we can just spark that guy again. And I think rollout will hit Mantine and not me. At least, I hope it will, because if it doesn't, we're in some serious trouble. Bubble Beam. Okay, that, that'll do some good damage. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we don't have to worry about rollout. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah, I hear Scarlet and Jimmy. Done in my dope kids! This isn't right! Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pistoria City anyway. So we'll say, you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. What's going on here? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Sure, thanks, honestly. I'm useless without my Pokedex. Wow, that's a bleak outlook you've got there, Lucas. I have to have it for helping Professor Rowan with his studies. So, we're sure, what are your plans now? Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. <gasps> I have no fear. I have come running. I heard of children feuding with the Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. Hey, it's that weirdo from Jubilife. You insult me to my face. How very uncouth of you. Oh, oh, sorry. Honestly. I was upset from having po my Pokedex ripped off by Team Galactic. I didn't even think when I spoke up. I'll be... I'll be going now. Uh, watch out for Team Galactic. Buy a fucking book, Lucas, or get cloud saves. <laughs> it is of no matter. Of more interest is the criminal behavior of, of the Team Galactic. They attempt to steal the belongings of a child. The scale of their criminality it seems rather minuscule. The triviality of their action makes them more sinister, perhaps. The warehouse needs investigation. Come with me and we'll take a look. Hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give chase to those who run away. Ah, this hidden machine it is it is of the hidden move fly. Shirt, this you should be keeping. It will not do to leave the this item here to be used by the Team Galactic. So, we did not learn very much from this exercise, no matter. What concerns me is what I have ever heard in the game corner. The Team Galactic has transported something to Pastoria City. What they are up to, I do not know, but I have bad feelings about it. Alright, we got Fly. Yeah, and that's another item that isn't randomized, even though it's on the floor. That's good. Alright. Um, so Fly is 90 power and 95 accuracy. That 95 accuracy is going to be something of a pain point, I think. So I'm not entirely sure I should replace Wing Attack outright. Wing Attack has 60 power, 100 accuracy. Endeavor. I feel like Endeavor's not particularly useful. Pumpkin is not a beefy gal. She's not going to... She's not going to hold up uh, to a whole lot of attacks that'll kill her real good. I, I, Endeavor that seems like a, a, a planning for failure sort of move um, uh, that would be difficult to actually do anything with. So I think I'm going to replace Endeavor with Fly. 
having a move that's 100 accuracy and and also stab is a useful thing. I think we'll probably be using fly a lot, but um, it's good to have a move that is guaranteed to hit before stat drops. All right, well. Um, I thought there would mo be more galactic stuff happening. Um, but it seems like we're just moving on. Let's check up on the little Team Galactic base over here. Oh, that's a nice touch. The the Veilstone City uh the Veilstone City theme is essentially just uh a major key reharmonization of, of of the of the galactic base theme since this is their base of operations. I love that. I love little touches like that. Oh, we need cut. I forgetted. Although I think we can get through here relatively painlessly. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've already fought all these trainers and there aren't any required grass encounters. Okay. Easy peasy. Huh. Why is there a gap in the fence here? Weird. Valor Lakefront. We got a new encounter here. Let's see who it is. It's Nummel. Dupe's Claws applies. I wish we could just replace Bread Bull, but... Also, I don't really. Our actual encounter is... Well, not Chikorita either. Um, because we've got Bayleaf. Dupe's Claws applies here as well. Mystic wa Oh, that's a good item. I don't know if it's better than um, choice specs, though. I think it isn't. How are you? I'm I'm doing okay. Uh, I. I've been having a little bit of a rough time, but it's it's not it's not anything worth worrying about. Um, I'm 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 dealing with it, and always always happy to be playing Pokemon. I think I'm gonna keep the choice specs on, on Birm for now. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. If only I had the Poke Chap dowsing machine, it would be so easy to find. Oh, 
This is Route 213. Neat. Fist plate. I don't believe we have any fighting, uh, fighting type attacking moves. Oh, we have two fist plates. <laughs> I guess we could sell one of them because we're only. Well, we could potentially use two. Ganondorf has multi type now. So if we want, we could turn him fighting type, but I don't know if that would help us very much. Huh. No hidden item there. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. D d do we have do we have knights? Do y'all have knights around here? Razor Claw. That increases crit chance, I think. And we've already No, no, no. We've got we've... Oh, we've already got a wide lens. Uh, or a scope lens, which does the same thing. I can battle too. Wow. Wow, Pi. You're an engineer, huh? That's really impressive. Oh, we should give the Razor Claw to Fish Tacos. Because she's already got two two moves with, with high crit chances. Horse Palm is a little bit scary. Hopefully this kills, though. Nice. Good job. Good job, Fish Tacos. Alright. Let's give the Razor Claw to Fish Tacos. And also heal her up real quick. Still got a... Oh, no, we don't have a couple potions sitting around. Oh well. Got plenty of super potions. Uh, it takes forever for you to be able to. There you go. There you go, fish tacos. Isn't this nice? I love my inflatable tube. I love it too, dude. It's pretty sick. Slash. Use your slash attack, fish tacos. Growth? Okay, not a problem. We move before you, and we kill you. Ka-chow. Wants to learn Night Slash? Hell yes! Hell yes! Night Slash! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. Get rid of faint. Anorith. Okay. Shadow Claw is not, I think is the move there. Oh well. That's fine. You bought yourself a little time, buddy, but not much. Metal Claw, okay. Not gonna do too much, and it didn't get the attack boost. Not that it would have mattered, because we kill it this turn. Yay. You got a stunky of your own, huh? No matter, I'm higher level than you, and I've got a higher chance to crit. That did not crit. Yeah, faint is not a very good move. Why are you faster than me? Oh, oh, I guess it's because it was trying to use faint. Engineer Mia. 
It's not easy to move trying to hold on to this inflatable tube. There's a fancy hotel and a fancy place with a fancy restaurant. Fancy restaurants filled with fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. That's about the size of it. Ha <laughs> ha! Now! Just now! I was just about to reel it in! Sorry, buddy. I gotta slurp up your tasty XP. Oh, look! You've got, you've got a real... Got a real water type there. Congratulations, dude. Does Razor Claw actually stack with high crit chance moves? Or is it just... Alright, we finally get to use Night Slash, get that sweet, sweet same type attack bonus. Wow, that did not do very much damage. Leafeon is kind of a tank, huh? Alright, well... Uh, Spork, get on out here. Razor Leaf, not gonna do much. Spork resists that. Oh, it did get the crit, though. Don't crit again. Don't do that. This Leafeon's fucking scary. Okay, it didn't crit. Alright, Icy Wind kills it. Good, good, good. And Nidoran Male is your final dude. Let's switch to... I Hank. You're, pu you're pure poison type, so... Doesn't affect I Hank. Nice, nice, nice. Psybeam will do a fair amount, especially with Twisted Spoon. Also, this thing's not evolved, so yeah, that's a one shot. You need to have more respect for a grown up. I I don't think I do. I don't think that's the thing I need to have. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. You are skeptical of my claim? Then let your stunky walk in front of me right here. From its footprints I shall determine how it feels about you. I have little understanding of shirt as a human. Shirt may not too bad. It may not be too bad, considering that I, an off-shunned Stunky, am one of the team. That said, I don't intend to be all cheerful around Shirt. And that is what your Stunky thinks of you. Alright, we gotta be better, better friends with fish tacos. Oh, what's our new level cup? Level cap, I should look that up. Let's take a look see. Come on, come on. Give me just a second, folks. Alright. Next up is Crasher Wake, and his highest level Pokemon is level 37, so that's our new level cap. May not too bad. Okay, well. You know, 
Sometimes words just out of your mouth too fast and you don't know them. You know? Let me demonstrate my technique. It's how this grown up battles. Rich Girl Crystal sent that Chikorita. Night Slash crit, but it didn't kill. Oh well. This next sl next slash will kill. Get him, fish tacos. Nice. Gotta come back here with cut, I guess. There's something on top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up? Well, we need rock climb. I don't know how late you get rock climb in this game. Because you get it super duper late in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Alright, who do we want out front to catch Pokemon? Do we have any Pokemon with... Uh... Status moves. Aside from Confuse Ray, we do not. Oh! Late? Late? Okay. Oh, oh, late, late when you get Rock Climb. Okay, I figured. It's Meryl! Hi, Meryl. We have Fish Tacos, who has Toxic. Although, that's. That's a little bit of a scary, scary road to go down. Put, kind of puts us on a timer, but Meryl is not particularly difficult to catch. I'm just gonna throw balls. I'd love to get a paralyzed move. One, two, Three. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Alright, what do we name Meryl? Orb. Round. Round boy. Round boy hours. Ah, oh, doodle, you, you like you like Azumarill, so why don't why don't you take the helm on this one? The oil filled ends of its end of its tail floats on water. It keeps Meryl from drowning even in a strong current. Girl or boy? It's a boy! It's a baby boy! A little round man! Look, a little round mouse man! Mouser, after the Mario 2 boss. Mouser! Welcome to the box, Mouser. Alright, let's go pick up Cut and smash all the rocks on this route, see what it gets us. Team Galaga. These guys got spaceships and they're gonna shoot you up unless you do it to them.
Now I can give it back to that lady who was complaining that she lost hers. Worry not, lady. Here's your funny key. Um. White flute. Okay. That's not particularly useful, but thanks. Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Sorry I've been quiet, I'm playing Fortnite. Don't, don't worry about being quiet. That's totally fine. Get get them get them victory royales. Oh. Huh. Trick room. Did just get a victory royale. We got it! Hell yeah. Tin Tower in the Jota region. Neat, neat, neat. I've been there. Okay, so... Is there a PC in here? There is not. There's a new season and they've given me two goth girls. Oh, wonderful. There isn't a PC in the entirety of Valor Lakefront, is there? Unless there's one in the museum, uh, in the in the restaurant. Nope. What the fuck kind of restaurant is this? Where's the kitchen? How do people? We can battle. Ooh, I bet there's an item up there. Well, if there is, then it's not telling me. So maybe there isn't. Masquerade. Also, Carnage is in the game, and I think that's a pretty weak character. Uh, are, are the different characters... Uh, uh, oh, it's like, uh, is Carnage like the seasonal event? Like the guy you can... Oh, okay. It's all cosmetic. Just boring. Okay. Gotta go all the way back to Veilstone City to bring out Cut. Yeah, I know. Carnage, Carnage the Marvel character. Well, first let's see what Mouser has going on. He's holding a TM. Okay, bold. Bold nature is uh, plus defense minus attack. Carmichael, the Marvel character. Minus attack isn't great, but that's fine. Sticky hold pr protects the Pokemon from item theft. Okay. That could be worse for sure. Water gun, roll out, bubble beam, aqua ring. Aqua ring's good. Um. Last season had Rick, Rick and Morty, which I, which like I don't love the show anymore, but it was interesting. Venom has been in the game forever. What TM are you holding, buddy?
All right, who do we swap out for cut? Um, Firm's really powerful. I feel like, uh, let's swap out Spork for cut for now. Alright, let's see what TM that Meryl was holding. TM49 is Snatch. Oh, okay. Interesting. I feel like it's not going to find a lot of play here, but so it goes. Alright, can anyone learn Trick Room? Uh, I Hank can learn Trick Room, but I Hank's pretty fast, so not pretty, not particularly useful. Season 6 had Lara Croft and Raven for the crossovers. Carnage is pretty eh. Yeah, in terms of, like, video game heavy hitters, Carnage is not up there. We're gonna get a Carnage movie soon, but might be promoting that, probably. It is? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Directed by Andy Serkis for some reason. All right, let's get a smash in. I, I, yeah, I was just thinking about how I also do love Toxic Hook's Cry. It's like a, like a, like a malicious little cackle. TM64 <laughs> Explosion! I will not be using that! She does a little giggle. She's just having fun. I mean, if there's a Pokemon... I really want to use as just a sack to get some damage off, but like I can't plan for upcoming battles, so that's that's really a, a moot point, huh? Yeah, no. Pastoria City, here we are. That place, Team Galactic was taking something. I am Krogunk. Some trainers de deliberately prevent their Pokemon from evolving. They wait until the Pokemon levels up and learn certain moves. You're just like a totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you who's very close with his Pokemon. Thanks for making me smile. This might put a smile on your face. Try dressing up the Pokemon with this white fluff. You take that back. Oh, oh no doubles. Okay, well, maybe I'm not Krogunk. Out of there! Let me examine your Pokemon to see if it's worthy of a scarf. Naruto was coming to Fortnite, and if he would be on the pass, that would have been fin. I don't want to feed my Pokemon Poffins. I don't want to do that. What are they? Package hasn't arrived from the Maelstone warehouse yet. I have to wait here until then. 
I'm going to body from this way. I wish I could do something that involved lots of explosives. Me too, buddy. All right. All I can catch. Well, all I can catch is one Pokemon. Pastoria Great Marsh. Let's hope this encounter's a good one. Let's go with Area 6. Not that it matters. Ba, ba, ba. Coughing! That's a funny little guy. Okay. I can never figure out Safari Zone. I think uh, bait makes them less likely to run away, but mud... Uh, 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 bait makes them less likely to run away, but lowers their catch rate, and mud makes them more likely to run away, but increases their catch rate. Which just never seemed particularly fun to me. One. Two. Three. Nice, okay. Lighter than air gases in its body keep it aloft. The gases not only smell, they are also explosive. <laughs> Shouldn't this guy have been a poison fire type? Your name is Hindenburg. <laughs> Another guy. Curlia. Well, sorry, Curlia. You are not our friend. We've already got a friend from, from the Safari Zone area. Or the Great Marsh in this game. And yes, I want to exit the Great Marsh. I guess I could have gone around and looked for items, but I don't feel like it. All right, let's check out Hindenburg, see what he's got going on. Spork, you go there. Hindenburg, you too. This box is just for Cut to hang out in. Cut loves the big city. All right. Oh, Hindenburg's also holding a TM. Hell yeah. Naughty nature. Which means... Uh... Plus attack minus special defense. Okay. Um... Okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. Prevents status problems in sunny weather. Interesting. Assurance, self-destruct, sludge, and haze. Okay, well, let's get rid of self-destruct as quickly as we possibly can to make sure I don't accidentally hit it in battle. Because that would be quite bad. But first... Item. Take TM32. I'm 
I'm gonna rectify that self-destruct situation right now to make sure I don't forget. Summary. Oh, right, okay. In lieu of mo going to the move to leader, let's just see what TMs we have. 32 is double team. Okay. Not great. Probably not going to teach it to anybody, but uh, if all fails, I can just sell it for money. Uh. Grass knot? Can you learn Rock Slide, Hintenberg? I don't think I want to use my Rock Slide TM on you anyway, but you can't, so. Gyro Ball? You're not fast. Hindenburg can learn Gyro Ball. Oh, you know, you know, it would be great if uh, a Garfield could learn Gyro Ball. Oh, no, I guess that's based on the speed stat, not when, when the Pokemon moves. Oh, well. All right, well, don't really have anything I want to teach uh, Hindenburg right now, so let's just put him away for now. Let's go to the Pokemart and uh, sell some of the uh, useless crap we've accumulated. Who's in here? In the Great Marsh, quick trams on rails are used for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. The name of the name says quick. Their movements are anything but. They're the quick trams that traverse the Great Marsh. Oh, okay. The Marsh City. What the heck is this statue? It's a wood carving of the Pokemon Krogunk. Even though it's made of wood, it looks like it's seeping poison. <laughs> That's, uh, spooky. Let's sell some stuff. Let's sell the TM for explosion. <laughs> no, thank you. Um. Let's sell the sacred ash, which only sells for a hundred poke dollars, despite being an incredibly powerful thing. That's funny. Um, can you soft lock yourself by saying, selling HM? No, they just say, uh, HM? Oh no, I can't buy that. Uh, you, uh, it doesn't allow you to do it. All right. Anything in here we don't need? Well, um, having a what's the huntail? Having a huntail has locked us out of catching a clam pearl. Uh, so. We may as well sell the deep sea scale. Sell mail. Cannot use it. No battle items.
Dusk balls and quick balls would be good to have. Because we only play at night. Okay. Should be good for now. I already forgot what that plasma grunt said, so let's go talk to him again. All right. Uh I guess I guess we just have to progress the story and then something'll happen. Uh, Alright, we should do some training before taking on Crasher Wake's gym, considering the level gap between us and his strongest Pokemon. Plus, we can go to the Pokemon, Ranch on, Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. Ah, I see. Just gotta go down this little pink scarf. That's useless. Yay. Can you keep up with me? Probably. If I had to hazard a guess, Swimmer Cami, I think I can, in fact, keep up with you. Especially if you're gonna send out Mr. Mime against Fish Tacos. Goodbye. <laughs> that was not a crit. <laughs> nice job, fish tacos. Lick a tongue. Okay. Another night slash here. It's not going to do as much. Hopefully it crits. That would be cool. That is not a crit. Okay. It's been disabled. You know what? You know what, lick a tongue? Fuck you. Get poisoned. Get horribly poisoned and die. Slam. Ouch! That was big. That was big slamage. Crit, crit, crit. Okay, it did not crit. If slam crits here, it won't kill. Okay. And it didn't crit, but another slam might kill us. So, I'm getting fish tacos out of there. And switching into a Pokemon who cannot be hit by slam. Nor can it, nor can she be hit by stomp. So, win-win. Uh, side beam, just to take it out. Nice, nice, nice. High Hank levels up as well. Nice, nice, nice. Are you going to give me a berry? No. I'm gonna heal up fish tacos, but also switch her out of the front spot so we can keep leveling our team equally. T 
TM82 Sleep Talk. Okay. If I get a Pokemon off the rest, that might be useful. Am I stuck in the bog? Of course not. How silly. This is a full body mud pack. If it weren't, I would be squirming and struggling to get out. Spooky plate. I'm gonna Google something real quick. I want to know if Razor Claw actually stacks with crit chances on Moose. Excuse me. Raises the critical hit ratio of the holder by one stage. Hmm. So, does it stack with moves? Okay, it looks like they do they do stack with each other. As far as I can tell. Barboach. I love Barboach's little mouth. What a cute little dude. Okay, Barboach is part ground already, so Water Pulse is going to take it out. Haunter. Goodbye. Your almost levels up. Okay, not quite. Maybe I should have hung on to that shard. Oh, like to blue shards. I don't know if the moves would be particularly useful. Can't you see I'm fishing? No talk to spook the fish. Have we gotten an encounter for this route? I don't think we have. Yeah, last Pokemon we caught was Hindenburg, and that was in the Great Marsh, right? Nice, got the Confuse. Hit yourself, please. Please. Oh well.
Uh, I'm sleepy. Nice, got some fat EXP for that. Wants to learn Rain Dance. Hmm. That's actually quite helpful. Nidoran. <clears throat> Marip. I love Marip's little. That he does when he, when he comes out. All the little intro animations in this game are absolutely delightful. I watched a video about the animation in Pokemon games. Um, and what they do in this game, since they can, like, rotate the sprites and everything. Um, and manipulate them in ways they couldn't in previous games. There are just two different... Uh, there's just one alternate frame per Pokemon that they use to to make it do a little dance. Well, let's see how much Water Pulse does. Unless this thing has an electric type move, which would be bad breakfast for us. Spark can do neutral damage, but Ganondorf does a shit ton of damage regardless. Nice, nice, nice. Damn right, you got trampled right under my feet. Let's switch Ganondorf to the front. Wish some fish and love and lightning was coming along. But no, it's all just trainers. Bonsly. I like Bonsly. What a funny little dude. Pokemon is full of funny little guys, and it's it's my favorite. Oh no, I can't leave. Fan P. Hmm. Well, this could be a little bit troublesome. Okay, but current, but thankfully, blocks no longer in effect since, um. Uh, I forgot what the previous Pokemon was, but it's down, so block. Yeah, pumpkin restored HP with dry skin.
Pumpkin can really camp in rain. Like, if we set up rain with, uh... If we set up rain with Bjorn, Pumpkin's got roost, so she can kind of just camp. Uh... Indefinitely. That's sick. I like that. Another choice specs. Okay. I was actually planning on taking the choice specs off of Bjorn soon. I guess we can sell both of them. Maybe I'll only sell one. Operator Tia Santa Eclaley. If I hate this thing. Thankfully, this one isn't uh, uh, a very strong looking Glalie that kills half of my team with fucking. Uh, sheer cold. Nice job, Ganondorf! Altaria. Okay. You're dragon flying, so Spark will still do neutral damage. And paralyze. Nice job, Ganondorf. God, I love Ganondorf. What an epic uh, cat, dog, fox thing. Puppy. Sure, me, sure show me how tough you were. Gonna heal just in case we get locked into some... Uh, uh, unfortunate situation. All right, let's bring out, uh, fish tacos so we can get our encounter for this route. Who do we got? Raikou! Are we gonna get all the legendary dogs? That would be so nice. Quick attack, it's not running. Good, good, good. Alright, I don't want to risk a crit, so I'm going to switch to uh, uh, Ganondorf and hit it with some Electro-type moves. Because I don't think that this, this thing will catch in a Great Ball um, or a Dusk Ball if it's just poisoned and hadn't hasn't taken any damage. Although maybe I should start throwing balls now, huh? A Dusk Ball is, a, is essentially an Ultra Ball at night, so... Come on. Okay. That's fair. I've unfortunately put myself on something of a timer here. Due to Toxic Poison. I, so I don't want to hit it.
Maybe I should have thrown a quick ball, quick ball at the start of the battle. Just to find out. Quick attack's doing fucking nothing, so we're fine. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Dust ball, come on. Catch, catch, catch. One. Two. Oh, my God. Oh, please, please don't faint here. Please don't faint. That won't, that won't kill. That won't kill. That won't kill. Okay, okay. This next turn, it probably will, though, so... Hopefully, Dusk Ball does it. Come on, buddy. Come on. One. Oh. Oh, it's going to go down to Toxic this turn. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. <sighs> it was not to be. We got another odd Keystone. No, I didn't want fly. Mag cargo. I can't deal any damage to this thing with pumpkins, so we're just gonna run. Protein. Okay. Forest and Robin. Forest is a good name for a ranger. Not, not as much for a. Uh, Oh, gross. Don't intensify the sun's rays with drought. Gay. I hate that. Alright, I hand can't really do anything here, so... Let's swap to... Gendorf. Alright, does Pumpkin still take sun damage while on the first turn to fly? Cotton Spore. Lowers my defense or speed? Speed, okay. Yeah, Pumpkin still takes damage from Dry Skin, which makes sense because she's closer to the sun now than she is usually. Yeah, Fly Mist. There it is. I don't like faint attack. I don't like any of this. This is all bad, and I don't like it. All right, do some decent damage. Thank you. All right, I'm getting Pumpkin and Ganondorf out of here, both of them. Unfortunately, Birum's water moves aren't going to be as good. Just 
But that's the way it is. Come on, fish tacos. This battle was scary as fuck. Still one more Pokemon, I think, to deal with. Stop fucking using Cotton Spore! God damn! Alright, it's the other guy who has one more Pokemon. Floatzel. Okay. Chunch. Nice. Fish tacos gets a crit, finishes off with Floatzel. Get out of here. Gotta heal up all my dudes. Revive! That's money! Here we are at the Pokemon Mansion. I've never battled a young trainer like yourself. It's quite nerve-wracking. Rich boy Marcellus. Winton Marsalis. Oh, I'm slouching a lot. Which I guess is just as well, because my shirt's got some green on it. Doesn't quite kill. That's fine. We're faster than this thing, and it didn't attack, so. Full restore. Cool. Epic. Turn should still kill here. Nice. If it pleases you, may I challenge you to a battle? Sure. Sure, Nurse Christiana. Parasect. All right. Wing attack does 240 damage. <laughs> Goodbye. Lazy Scott. Classic cop. Wing attack should kill here. Yeah, easily. You're not evolved, you're weak to it. Come on, Lazy Scott. Fucking train your Pokemon. Jesus, Scott. Oh, a f static. <clears throat> Guess I'm using my last paralyzed heal. Can you explain it, alright? It was dark and I was too late to, to too, too, too hard to see. 
too hard to see. All right, Scott, you know what that sounds like? It sounds like you're being lazy as usual, not bothering to train up your dudes before going into a battle. Scott. Lazy Jimmy. I really like that it makes the police officers lazy. Because that's true. Thanks, randomizer. Base randomizer. Um, did you miss anything? No, not really. We've just been making our way through Route 212 in the Pokemon Mansion. We killed a cop. We're, we killed a cop and we're about to kill another cop. Normal stuff. Fucking guess the double protect shelter motherfuck son of a bitch. Get killed, please. Get killed and striked. This is Scott? No, this is Lazy Jimmy. We just killed Lazy Scott, and now we've killed Lazy Jimmy. God, why are there so many fucking cops around here? Hold it right there, citizen. Walking around at night is unsafe. Oh, Lazy Scott the Waz. Lazy Marilyn. Lazy Marilyn, do I have to teach you the same lesson I just taught Lazy Scott? Level, level up your Pokemon. Evolve them. Venonat. You should be... You should be a... Uh, a fucking... Uh, Venomoth by now. What the dickens? This is Scott as a reference to a thing, don't worry. Okay. A different thing. Not Scott the Was. Okay. Scott Pilgrim? I also haven't... I, I haven't seen Scott Pilgrim, so yeah. I, I'm not worrying about it. That's up to Heart Home City. Oh, we've made a big loop. Here we are in Heart Home. Nice, nice, nice. Well, let's heal up at Heart Home and then go on into the Pokemon Mansion. Hopefully there's... We get a new encounter there. Oh, while we're here, we can... I was going to say we can check out our... Our encounter from Route 212, but we can't. Unfortunately. Oh, uh, th that was something you missed. We, uh, uh, we, we, we found our encounter for Route 212. Um, even if I want to be nice to these cops, it seems inefficient to cluster together. Yeah, like, they're just not doing a good job anyway you slice it. Um, uh, we, we found our encounter for Route 212 and it was Raikou. Um, but unfortunately... Uh, we were unable to catch Raikou, and it roared at us to get us out of the battle. Oh well. First legendary dog we find has Truant, basically unusable. Second legendary dog decides he doesn't want to be friends and runs away. Or forces us to run away, rather. All cops are bitches. All cats are babies. Lazy Webster. Yeah, here, swine up. This is what I'm saying, Webster. You gotta level up your dudes, evolve them. Make them more powerful, and strike, and kill. Okay, so... It is... It is horrendously inefficient. Uh... Officer in need of assistance! Go fuck yourself. I ain't responding to no blue alert. Um... I think it's uh, as uh 
it, it is tremendously inefficient for all these police po police officers to be grouped up here, but I think there is an easy explanation aside cat at birth. <laughs> There is an easy explanation for why they're all doing this, besides them just being bad at their jobs. They are the 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 area they're surrounding is a mansion, um, so that they're doing what cops do best. They're doing the the cop job description: protect the rich. Mister Backlot has some friends in the government and has a constant patrol around his house twenty four seven. Um, uh, but of course, they look the other way when he, uh, um, cheeses the tax system. Classic Mr. Backlot. Dumb name, by the way. I miss be able, being able to drag Pokemon around on the touchscreen. I know, I know that I know that came in in the in the following generations, um, but then it went away again in in Gen Eight. So I don't think we'll need uh, Rock Smash or um, uh, Cut inside the Pokemon Mansion. At least I hope we won't. Unless Mr. Backlot's not taking very good, pe uh, not taking very good care of the place, or the people he pays to take care of the place aren't doing a good job, which I doubt. I did not expect this to be a battle. Cool trainer Tristan and schoolboy Kimberly. Nidorino and Crow Gunk. Okay. Yeah, okay, this works. But, uh, Icy Wind and Psybeam. Psybeam's gonna one-shot the Krogunk. Twisted Spoon and Quad Effective. Goodbye. Nidorino might still be pure poison. I forget. Oh, Poison Stink's gonna hit us super effectively, but, but that also means that the strongest poison type move that this thing has is Poison Sting, which is good for us. Okay, yeah, it's still pure poison. Has not gained the ground typing yet. Oh, we're all ready. Well, that's fine. Rich people like me don't like to fight. Yeah, that's why you hire people to fight your wars for you across the sea. Honey. Okay, that's not super useful. I'm not counting honey trees as separate encounters from the roots, so... Wild Pokemon may appear in the garden. All right, let's get it on. Who's our trophy garden encounter? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Also, this is a shitty garden. It's just some hills and some grass on top of it. All right, who do we got? Electrike. Love this funny little dog. We're getting all sorts of funny dogs today. All right, let's see what happens if we just chuck a quick ball. One, two, three. Nice. I really like the quick ball for, for Electrike because it matches my Nectrix color screen pretty much perfectly. Using electricity stored in its fur, it, it stimulates its muscles to heighten its reaction speed. This dog makes its own Gatorade in its bones.
Gatorade. Puppy, puppy aid, doggy aid. Greater aid. Greater aid. Cause she's better than Gator aid. She's greater aid. I'm not loafing, I'm just taking a personal break. It's my official policy to sleep in a bed while I'm when I'm officially loafing. You know you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden? We put this on a cop Pokemon, it warms up to you faster. We got another Supo, we picked one up earlier. Do we have any Pokemon that evolve through friendship? I don't know that we do. Skyplate, okay. Here you may challenge the mansion's pride, the five trainer mates. The challenge is to beat all five of us in a row without a break. In addition to beating us, if you can beat us in a specific number of turns, there will be a special gift. Incidentally, a turn refers to the time it takes for an a trainer and the opponent to each make an action. In this case, action refers to making a Pokemon use a move, using an item, or switching a Pokemon. And now, the five made knockout exact turn attack challenge. Today's targeted number of turns is eight. Would you like to try? Sure. My favorite color is blue. I will open the proceedings. All right. Eight turns. Easy peasy. Just got to not use attacks for the first seven turns and then uh, use one razor leaf. Actually, I'm going to use one ice shard just to make sure razor leaf kills down the line. Hope it doesn't crit. Okay, we're fine. Good, good, good. Alright. Even if this next uh, ice shard crits, uh, it won't kill, so... Attract. <clears throat> well, that's fine. That's two turns down. Gust. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, it does nothing. Mobilize I love, that's fine. Three turns. Gust missed. Swagger, okay. Gust is special, so we don't have to worry about it hitting us. Oh, but it could knock itself knock itself out early. That's not good. That was four turns. Uh-oh. Hopefully it snaps out of confusion. Five turns. 
snap that confusion. Good, good, good. We can just keep using charge. That was six turns. This is turn seven. Oh, that stinks. We have to hope we power through attract. I'm with the foes Finneon. You spark. Okay, turn eight. We got it. We're, hmm. Were we supposed to beat the whole challenge in eight turns total or eight turns per battle? Hold on. Oh, if all five maze were defeated in the exact number of requested turns. Five maids must be beaten in an exact number of turns, which is randomly determined each day and ranges from five to nine turns. Prize for winning the challenge is a duel with either, either Lady Celeste or Rich Boy Liam. So the prize is another battle. Turn one. Fuck it. I don't care. Remember to take a sippy, everybody. Nice, we got the crit. Vibrava. Okay. You're a ground dragon, so you will most likely go down to a single icy wind. Hopefully you don't kill me with faint attack. Okay. That didn't do anything. We're fine.
That's cute. Each of the maids has has a number of exclamation points after they say you're so strong that uh um Oh, okay. So they wanted me to do two uh, eight turns in total, not per battle. Makes more sense. Or a beam. Uh oh. Okay, ice resists ice, so that's not too bad. I'm still not keeping Spork in, though. I don't. I don't like that. Hmm. Even if Aurora Beam crits, it won't kill. Whatever. Aqua Ring. Okay, we're fine. We're literally fine. Alright, I'm gonna heal up before fighting any of the other maids in this area. There's a Pokemon right Pokemon Center right nearby in Hard Home City, so may as well. Make the trek out that way. Let's go meet this Mr. Backlot, shall we? Hello, hello! Welcome to my opulent mansion! There's a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. What makes, but what makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling far when Pokemon attracted to my garden? They come to me in hopes of seeing the garden. You're welcome to join them and marvel at my garden. Master is truly a wonderful and generous person. It's on his edges that the garden, his pride and joy, is open to all, even trainers. You may look, but please refrain from touching this Pokemon statue. Earthquake! Oh, that's good. Do we have anyone who can learn Earthquake? We only get one of them, unfortunately. But damn, that's good. That's a very good move to have. Nobody in our on our team can learn Earthquake. All right, um. Yeah. 
we should do some grinding and then fly back to uh uh Uh, well, let's grind up to level 35, 36, let's say, um, and then we can fly on back to, uh, Pastoria City to take on Crasher Wake. A lot of chinchus in here, huh? Chinchu and Raichu. Huntail. Goes down. Does not go down to a razor leaf, huh? Alright, let's heal up uh, our boy Spork. View to fly. Nice. Gus is going to do a little bit of damage. Not too much, though. Wigglytuff might be kind of uh, annoying. Disabled Icy Wind. Lame. Okay, that's fine. Lediba is going to go down to an Icy Wind. No question. Raichu. That's a level up. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Oh, don't confuse me. You gotta die. Penis blast. Hmm. I think the... I think that since this is right outside Hard Home City, the the levels are lower than the levels of Pokemon we'd be grinding against um, right outside Pastoria on Route 2, 213. So let's go back there. Just to make this a little bit faster. So we're earning more EXP per battle. It's so weird how the fly animation has your character model uh, lit up in daytime for a, uh, a hot second. Your sprite, rather, um, before changing to accurately f reflect the time of day. My uh, eyes have been um, being caught by the green screen qu rather a lot tonight. I'm going to see if I can adjust the levels at all to alleviate that. Yeah, that's better. And it still doesn't show any of the background. Good. I like that. Oh, I should have healed. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and heal. When I fixed up Dismume and uh, adjusted all the settings a while ago, a couple of days ago, um, it also makes the game run a lot more smoothly while it's uh, sped up, which I appreciate. Yeah, Pokemon are definitely higher level here. Kachow! Shellos. I love Shellos. What an excellent little guy. Poliwhirl? Vile Plume? It's giving me a lot of Pokemon I can uh, damage easily with, with Spork. I appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is getting freaking paralyzed. 
That's not my favorite thing. Mighty Yina. More like Bitey Yina, because because he, he used the move bite on me. Don't use stun spore. Don't use it. Okay, we got a crate. It doesn't matter. Salamence. Ember. Ouchie. And he burned me. Dick. That's such a dick move. Beef, that's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really on my game tonight, jokes wise. I'm making so many good jokes for the audience to enjoy. Put put that one in the in the history books, Bitey-ina. Like like cause it used the move bite. That's a joke I would make. <laughs> <laughs> It does sound pretty Danny inspired, I think. In 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 a in a good way. In a pleasant and fun way. Latios. Nice, we got a crit. I'm gonna go back and heal real quick because Latios did some decent damage with Dragon Breath. Helping hand, okay. We got another crit. Nice job, Spork. And another Latios. Try to use Safeguard again. Spork wants to learn Woodhammer. Woodhammer is a 120 power, 100 accuracy, physical grass type move that uh, has recoil. Hundred and twenty power, hundred accuracy is quite good. Recoil is not so good. I don't want to get rid of Razor Leaf. I think I'm gonna get rid of Swagger for Woodhammer. Just for when we really need big damage, and I'm certain Spork will be safe after using it. Oh, I forgot to use ice type move. There we go. I must go consume. Go, go, g fly, you fool. Eat food. Eat food ten thousand. Munch and crunch, and can can contain sustenance after it. Consume so you can contain. Go with many blessings. Um. Okay. over okay right right, right. I, I feel like I did know that that Snover evolves at level 40 just had to check get Bjorm some levels I don't like that don't like vile plume I think Water Pulse will still do more damage than... Uh, don't fucking stun spore me, you fuck. Now I gotta go heal. I wouldn't have had to do that.
A lot of water and grass types on this route, unfortunately. Which means Bjorn will have a semi-difficult time, but... Bjorn can still hit water types with Water Pulse for pretty big damage. Twister is not a super great move, but it's an 80 power move instead of 40 power because of super effectiveness. Um, and also, Choice Specs is doing it some major favors. Poison powder. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's my friend. You're poisoning. Poisoning him. Alright, well, let's... Don't feel like going back to the Pokemon Center, and we've got antidotes, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. Mega Drain, gay ass, bitch move for babies. Kill, kill and strike. Valplume gives decent XP, which is why I'm keeping Bjorn in against it. Bjorn's got beefy special defense, so she can take a couple of Mega Drains. Fucking Stun Spore. Get out of here. Shellos. Rain Dance, thank you for boosting the power of my watery pulse. Goodbye. Get fucked. Just want to get Bjorn up to level, uh, fucking, uh, level 36, and then we can move on. Okay, Water Pulse does not do as much as Twister. Good to know. I mean, kind of good to know. Togekiss. Water Pulse. Meryl, Water Pulse. Shavenger. Um, you do in fact have Wonder Guard, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, we gotta switch. To I Hank. Hey back. Got here, Shavenger. Shellos, Water Pulse, Mud Bomb, causes me to miss my fucking Water Pulse, Camera Up, Water Pulse, <laughs> Latios, now we do twist it, almost kills, but Latios doesn't attack so we're fine, and this next Pokemon, Gengar, Water Pulse, has Gengar has Sucker Punch. No, not Sucker Punch. What was that? Uh, dry Skin. We got Choice Specs. So we gotta switch the Fish Tacos. Shadow Punch is what he used. Also has Sucker Punch. Okay, doesn't matter. We resist it. Gem levels up. Let's train somebody else now. We can go ahead and switch the Pokemon at the front of our party to be instead Ganondorf. Now we can bite Latios, which will deal super effective damage because of its secondary psychic typing. Spark Meryl. Kill him, kill him striking. Mighty Ina, that's a Spark situation. We'll kill, because Gandalf's a fucking beast. Latios blocking me from healing. Doesn't matter. I'll just bite its fucking head off. Polywhale. Spark. Gengar. Bite. Thunderfang, there we go. That's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. 
Huh. Spock is... Oh, okay. So Spock and Thunder Fang are the same power. But Thunder Fang has 95 accuracy and Spock is 100 accuracy. Thunder Fang has the chance to flinch. But for the most part, it's just a factually worse Spark. So unfortunately, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna take Thunder Fang. I could get rid of Roar, but Roar might be useful. Man, I wish Thunder Fang was a good move. At least in a Nuzlocke, it's just Spark but Weiss. Ah oh, well. Why not learn in Thunder Fang? That's a shame. Even though it's a cooler move than Spark. It's cooler, but it's not as good. Those Shellos have Mud Bomb, so I gotta be wary of that. But Ganondorf's faster than him and kills him in one hit, so... Salamence! Spark! Fucking bind me. With your ember, shitty ass, bitch. Gotta go heal up my dog now. You gave him a big bone. You burned him. You burned him. I don't actually know which pronunciation would be correct there with the particular region and election I'm adopting. Although this isn't particularly uh, authentic to any particular region. I just used the word particular like three times there. That's how devoted I am to saying that particular word. Spark. Spark's gonna kill. Thank you for not biting me again. Bitch. Bioplume. That's gonna be a bite situation. Fucking poisoning me again. Like some sort of cuck who needs to hide behind you. Your poisons and your your toxins to avoid doing big damage with a full-on striking attack of killing. Gandalf easily kills Polyoil in a single hit. Cause it ain't shit. Gengar goes down, Gandalf levels up. Let's switch out I Hank to the front here. Hopefully I hang Lin's fucking Shadow Ball or something. Or just like a better attack and any any ghost type attacking move. Psybeam. Payback is gonna be the play here, cause of Oh my god. Fucking Get out of here. Alright, we gotta heal up I Hank. Cause Dragon Breath fucking paralyzed. And critical hit. <sighs> Toga Kiss. Yeah, normal type. Normal flying in this generation. So, Psybeam's the way to go. Not that we would have had a move that could hit you super effectively if you had your poison type or your the, your fairy type in this generation. Anyway, Salamence, leer, don't leer at me. You're just gonna keep leering at me, huh? Okay, well that's fine. I don't mind. Challenger, payback. Get the hell out of here with your fucking Wonder God ability. Wonder God, more like it's a wonder people like or care about Shedinja because it th that that's not true. Shedinja's cool. Conceptually, a very cool design, and I don't wanna. I I feel bad for trashing on it. Stop fucking sucker punching me! I'm gonna leave because you scare me. I don't wanna deal with your fucking sucking punches. Because of your 
scary attacking moves and strikes. Stop fucking poisoning me, bitch. I feel like I've started saying bitch more because I've been watching Breaking Bad and I like Jesse Pinkman. I like that character and he says bitch a lot and that's maybe not the most healthy thing. Uh, but he's funny and uh, he deserves better than what he gets in that show. Everyone's so, everyone fucks his life up so bad and makes me, makes me say it. Sucker Punch, fucking stop it. Thank you for critical hitting there. I Hank would have been scary if the Gengar were the one doing the critical hit attack. But we're not dealing with that reality today here on this day. Mighty Ina is scary for I Hank, so we're gonna switch in Pumpkin. Right now, we don't got anything that hits Doc super effectively. I Hank levels up. Nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and swap fish tacos to the front here. Shedinja, not a problem. We can just slash you with our shadowy claw. Camerupt, not a problem. We can just slash you with our nightly slash. <gasps> our boy! Here comes the boy! I think Fish Tacos is actually a girl. That's why. Why are you not? Oh, it is. It's just that my, my headphones turned off. Skuntank! Yeah, here we go. Fish tacos from Skuntank. Fish tacos wants to learn the move flamethrower. That might be quite helpful actually. Oh, that's good. All right. So. Here's the thing. Dark type. Hits super effectively. Hmm. Do we want to get rid of Toxic, Shadow Claw, or Slash? Because those are the choices here. I'm a little, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit torn. We used our Shadow Claw TM to, to teach Fish Tacos Shadow Claw, and we used our Toxic TM to teach Fish Tacos Toxic. So I'd feel a little bit bad about wasting him. Flamethrower is a very good move. Fish Tacos doesn't have the best special attack in the whole world. For this course, I have prepared uncooked instant ramen in a Ziploc bag and a peach. Hell yeah. That dinner of champions.
Hmm. I think we get rid of Shadow Claw. Either that or Toxic. Toxic is kind of good for catching Pokemon, but it also puts us on a timer, which I don't like. It's 85 accuracy. So there's a high probability of if we're, if we're using it in an important battle, we could waste a turn and fuck us over. So I'm getting rid of Toxic. Flamethrower is so fucking good. Let's look at our beefy girl. 69 attack, 60 special attack. Adaptability. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's fucking good. Oh my god. Oh, our Night Slash is gonna be fucking gross! Hell yes! Oh my god! Oh, that's good! Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck yes! Oh my god! Adaptability uh, increases the same type attack bonus multiplier from 1.5 to 2. It is insane. So, that means Night Slash. Uh, Night Slash before before super effective and before possible critical hit is a 140 power move. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's so fucking good. Oh, I'm so happy. Alright, back to the grind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Not that it would have mattered with that Gengar, but, like, damn. Vile Plume. Flamethrower. Okay, that didn't quite kill. That's fine. Goodbye, Latios. Goodbye, Meryl. <laughs> Almost goodbye, Salamence. Goodbye, Salamence. Fish tacos goes to level 35. Vile Plume might die to a flamethrower now. Yeah, nice. Goodbye, camera up. Oh my god. Hell yes, fish tacos. What Pokemon normally have adaptability? Um, I think Porygon can have it. Um, I I don't I don't remember the other ones off the, off the top of my head, but like it's not a super common ability as you might imagine. It's pretty powerful. Um, fish tacos goes to level thirty six. All right. Um. Uh, but I I I think for the most part it's on normal type Pokemon. Um. Which, you know, having a, a double power double power normal type move is good, but having a double power move that can hit Pokemon super effectively is bonkers. Like, that's that's extremely good. No, I don't want to fly. I want to switch Pumpkin to the front of the party so we can level her up to um, level 36 so we can enter the gym. Wing attack. Wow, that didn't kill. Weird. Valplume's pretty beefy, I guess. Shellos. 
Skunk gonna die to a return. Vile Plume. Okay, I guess we just got a low roll on that wing attack. Latios. Dice. Almost dies to return. Fucking levels up. One more level, and then we'll be ready to take on the Pistoria City Gym. Latios dies to a return. Latios dies to a return. That, there's that break point. Poliwhirl dies to return. Gengar dies to wing attack. Not quite. Okay. That's fine. Shellos dies to return. Easy peasy. Latios dies to return, as we've established. And one more Pokemon. Meryl dies to return. Everyone's level 36. Let's head on into the gym. Latios dies to return. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm feeling good. I'm having a good time. I hope you all are too. All right, Pastoria City Gym, let's do Oh. Hi, Tomato. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not always going to play in here every time we meet. So how's it going, shirt? Buff up your Pokemon, eh? Yeah, I would say so. I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. All right, Tomato fight first, I guess. Schoolboy Tomato. Snover! Hi, Snover. Sorry, you are gonna die to fly in one turn. Mist protects you from crits, I think. A little bothersome, but shouldn't be a problem. Snover dies to fly. Yep, there we go. Metacham. Metacham should also die to fly, I think. Calm Mind will not protect you from the powerful wings of my uh, beloved bird pumpkin. The calmest of minds cannot deliver you from her fury. Another Metacham? Huh. That's funny. Another Metacham, another fly. <laughs> oh, okay. This this is his starter Metacham. Um, it's the the highest level Pokemon on his team. Pumpkin might level up from, uh, from this, which means we'll probably have to put her in the back of the party for... Uh, uh, avoiding reaching the level cap... Avoiding passing the level cap reasons. Pelipper. Okay. Now. Pumpkin could knock this thing out with a return, probably. But I'm going to go ahead and send out Ganondorf. Just just because I can't resist that quad effective electric type move. Water Pulse. This could be a little bit scary. Oh, okay. We're fine. Protect. <laughs> Lame. All right, get get striked. Get striked, get killed. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, here, tomato. Hey, <laughs> yeah, maybe it, maybe it did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So, yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, join Mr. Wake as an apprentice. I like it. I want my own theme song. Neat. I I, I I could write you a theme song, Tomato. That'd be cool. 
with our friend Mater. He's just a boy with with too many chants. Also Snover and Pelipper. Gym Leader Wake, uh, I mean, Crasher Wake is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon, but that part I'll leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. I mean, water is the most common type, so I imagine we're not gonna get through here without seeing some water types, but that's not the, not the main, not the main event here, if there is a main event, which I don't think there is. All right, let's have let's have I Hank out in front. My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. Better better bolster your spirit for this defeat, Mallory. Ponyta, that is. Pretty, pretty much as far from water type as you can possibly get, but that's fine. Flame wheel. Spin. Of course, awesome. We got burned. Hooray. Hopefully, uh, side beam kills here. Yeah, okay, we're fine. You, you just might be tougher than our gym leader. I think I probably am. Burn heal. Super potion. No disrespect. No disrespect to the great crash awake, of course, but I think I am probably tougher than your gym leader. A lot of trainers in this gym. Hmm. Okay. There's an ant on my hand. <sighs> Miss... I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of some pretty intense gaming right now, and I would appreciate it if thank you. I'm kind of a pro gamer, so if you could, uh... Help me out and... Hmm. Where am I going? Do I, I keep accidentally pressing the buttons again. It might be uh, a little bit silly, a little bit stupid. Having some difficulties. The stupendous power of water. Don't think you can win. Botanist Chloe sent out Hound Doom. That's not good for I Hank. I am going to get her the heck out of here. Drought is not good. Hmm. Birm's choice specs will will offset the drought a little bit. Um, Fire Fang, we resist, but is powered up by sunlight. I could rain dance, but I think I'm just gonna water pulse. See how much it does. If it's more than half, then I wouldn't have had to... Yeah. It's more than half, so... Using a turn to set up Rain Dance would, would have been pretty pointless. It would have achieved the same effect or less 
and then just simply using Water Pulse twice. But the kid wins anyway. I'm just bowled over. Love how it boots you back to the items menu when it says it won't have any effect. Like, maybe I misclicked and I wanted to use it on a different Pokemon. Sure, whatever. It doesn't matter, I'm just being petty and pedantic. I mean, it matters a little bit. It matters enough that they fixed it in later installments of the game, but... I've been around the world, going from place to place training Pokemon. It's this gym I've chosen to make my home. You can bet it's tough. Fan Veronica. What are you a fan of, Veronica? Just curious. Alright, we're ghost type, we resist this thing's bug, bug and poison type moves, and we hit it super effectively with Psybeam. We don't resist its ghost type moves, though! Hey gamers, went to a party, it kinda sucked, lol. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. I haven't been to a party in quite some time. If you can imagine that. A gal like me, you, you look at her. You just take one look at her and you think, well that gal oh well, that girl's gotta be gotta be the the life of every social event she ever ever set foot in. And while that may be true, I don't make a habit of going to them, because they're really not my scene. I mean, especially not these past two years, but also just in general. Wants to learn Shadow Ball, yes! Fuck yes! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, hell yes. Alright, we're getting rid of Payback, fuck that. Shadow Ball! Yeah, I Hank! <sighs> We're getting fucking powerful this episode. My people aren't party people. I wish something like Yik Yak still existed. Yeah, that, 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 that would be good, I think. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yik Yak and, uh, and Vine. Vine wasn't this wasn't a comparable service to Yikak, but just that that era of of social media. Now the only social media that exists is either profitable or Tumblr. Somehow, I think I had one of the better party experiences because I talked to people. Well, yeah, I I I, I do like meeting people. Uh, Bjorn. Boog Beat. How many users do you think Tumblr has? There are a lot of them. More than six min- I think that's true. That sounds right. Plessel. Everyone could chip in less than a dollar and buy Tumblr. It's still so so funny that funny to me that uh, Yahoo bought Tumblr for uh, uh, for a billion dollars, um, and then sold it like what wasn't it like uh, a year later for three million? Oh right, 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 right. Ver Verizon bought Tumblr for a billion dollars and then sold it like a year later for three million dollars. Extremely funny.
botanist Cristiano sent out unknown. It's an A. That's for you, chat. You get an A. Hidden power? What kind of hidden power you got, buddy? A neutral damaging one. Exciting. Exploud. I don't like this guy. I don't care for this guy very much. That's a lot of damage from Stomp. I don't like that. And Icy Wind is not doing very much damage. I'll kill this guy in three of them, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, we're good. Crazy Thunder here. Ooh! You having a thunder a thunderous storm over in over in your uh neck of the woods? That's exciting. Verizon bought Yahoo, right. Ver Yahoo bought for $1.1 in, in, in 2013. By the time it got and was sold by Verizon, it was $3 million. God, it's extremely funny. Ah, uh, I love that so much. Who... Uh, who bought Tumblr from, uh, from Verizon Yahoo? Verahu? Yizen? WordPress. Huh. Doesn't WordPress own Blogger? I don't know what Blogger is. I left because of the porn ban. Uh, forever thinking about that video where the, that that person is just has like a bird flapping around in their hair, and they're like, "Big day today, everybody! I'm wearing jeans." I miss porn on Tumblr. There is still porn on Tumblr, if you know where to look, but, um, uh, just the fact that the site is hostile to sex workers is a, uh, is a very bad and obnoxious thing. Return Tumblr to the volcanic no rules paradise it once was. True, big true. Do this, do this Tumblr, do this. Make Tumblr island. <laughs> what if Tumblr was an island? I'm mad that I keep censoring me when I try to post mix of hairless cat's balls. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not forbidden in the terms of service. Animal nudity is fine. They're always uh they're always nude. God, the only a poison type attacking move has a poison sting is extremely funny to me. Sarah Z dashcom video. 
I have not. I don't think I've watched a Sarah Z video. I've had them recommended to me, but um, I don't think I. I'm not. I'm not huge on um, the idea of someone who's whose uh, shtick is making uh, uh, YouTube video essays about Tumblr drama when Tumblr drama can be so seriously fucked up. Like, people can use the word Tumblr drama, or the phrase Tumblr drama, to mean some incredibly, uh, like, alt-right Nazi-level shit in a, in a very unpleasant way. Get out of here, slowed poke. Fan pansy. All right, hopefully this gives us a... Yeah, it, it does give us an easy way back to the front of the gym because I want to heal before facing pressure weight. All right, let's kick Crasher Wake's uh, wet little ass. Bet he doesn't even have any, have any water types. Fucking faker. I found you, baker. I don't think she's like trying to be incensed or even cause drama and it's clear the videos don't go out of their way to be cruel to the people who don't deserve it, but I get it isn't everyone's style of content. Yeah, I'm 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 not a a big drama fan in general, I guess. All right. Here we go. Just got to make our way back on over to Crasher Wake. Any anything you just said, I did not hear someone in the dorm next over just started screaming. Ah, uh, dorm life. You simply got to love it. All right, let's let's open with uh fish tacos. She's got good coverage. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria City Gym Leader. There was a bug in the bathroom. That's not a good reason to scream. A bug in the bathroom is a delight and a treasure. And everyone should be happy about that. That's right, I'm Crasher Wake. Dig it. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. I gotta do Big Sippy when I'm doing Crasher Wake voice. I think it's weird he's Gym 5. Why Why would you say that? Does he Does he, does he seem like a, like a later Gym to you or an earlier one? In Diamond and Pearl, he's 4. Oh, huh. Strange. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. Fontina is five. Yeah, I guess that makes a little more sense. Manager Marshall. 
Yeah, Crasher wakes his stage name. His real name's Marshall. That's fine. Omastar, okay. This looks like a job for a spork. A water type, hey! Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> register that, but that's true. He opens with a water type. Good job, Marshall. He did it. Mud shot, don't lower my accuracy. Oh, speed, that's fine. I didn't want to use Icy Wind. Oh, I didn't want to use Icy Wind. Oh, Rollout's scary. Rollout is so scary. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that does fucking nothing. I wanted to use Speed Fell. Okay. R okay, ro <laughs> Rollout missed. Okay. That could have been scary. Almost Star goes down to... Oh, d Almost Star does not go down to Razor Leaf. Hyper Potion. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start. Should go down to two razor leaves, razor leaves, razor leaves. Get rid of all plurals where you change the F in a word to a V. Should be razor leaves. That's my professional opinion as a gamer. Wolves, yes, wolves, geese. Um, uh, uh, the plural of goose. Okay, okay, here's my end game. Either the the plural of mouse should be meese. Uh, either we keep goose and geese the way it is, and we change the plural of mouse to meese, and, uh, no, 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 mouse and mice, louse and lice is fine. Okay, either we keep goose and geese the way it is and change the plural of <laughs> guys. <laughs> either... We change the way we ch <laughs> we keep goose and geese the way it is and change the singular of sheep to shoop or we change goose to gooses and sheep to uh uh and, and sheep to sheeps. Hitmon Lee. Okay. We are switching the fuck out. I Hank. Geis is powerful. <laughs> One uh, one goose, it uh is scary, but Geis is powerful. Cow, that did a lot of damage. I guess his hit on Lee literally didn't have anything that could hit me. R Ride on has hail. Ride on has snow warning. That's fun. All right, well. I could... Huh. Oh, airlock. Right. I Hank doesn't get affected by, by, by weather effects. All right. Well, we could switch in Spork, but I'm afraid of rock type moves and Spork's at below half HP, so it's Bjorm time. Scary face. That's going to lower my speed. That's fine. I don't need speed to kill you to death with blasts and beams. Dumbass. Buffeting yourself with your own hail. Take down. Oh, that could be a little scary if it gets a crate. But you're going down to Water Pulse. Goodbye. Hail continues to fall. Hitmon Lee is the only one he's got left. And since he withdrew Hitmon Lee, um, I'm thinking Hitmon Lee doesn't have any attacking moves other than fighting or normal type moves. Uh, so it literally can't hit I Hank. So we got a safe switch in back to I Hank. Mind Reader. Oh, that actually allows Hitmon Lee to hit us with. Um, moves we're normally immune to, I believe. But, I don't think it matters. Focus energy. Okay, yeah, we win. Good, good, good.
All right. Manager Marshall is down. Fen badge. That's fun. Because it's, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because Pestoria is the Marsh City. Um, we got Brine, okay. We, we have another TM for Brine now. That's something, I suppose. Since this is the Marsh City, we get the Fen Badge. That's 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 cool. Oh, hey, you got the Gym Badge here, huh? What I tell you, Mr. Wake, I mean, the, the Master, is pretty awesome, hey? What's this racket, then? Oh, it's you two. Oh, Master. Listen, kid, I know your father, I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided. But forget that. There's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He said something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pastoria. Not on my watch. Hey, Master, wait. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Marshall. Crash or wake. Alright. Well. We made some darn good progress tonight. In our little... Our little run we're doing. And no casualties for, I think, the first time. I think this may have been our first no-death episode. So that's pretty exciting. Um... Fish tacos evolved into into Skuntank at long last, uh, and got the ability adaptability, which is fucking bonkers. <laughs> that she has that now, she has flamethrower. She has a bonkers powerful night slash. Um, I Hank got shadow ball, which we should probably switch to the the front of her move set, because that's that's a good thing to have. God, our team is looking fucking stacked. All right. Uh Uh That's what that's where we're going to leave it off for tonight. We need adaptability and Ganondorf's abilities you really lucked out. Yeah. I got some pretty tasty abilities for sure. Um Yeah, we're 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 going we're going to leave it off there for tonight. Um for those folks who aren't necessarily regulars on the channel, I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7.30 at 7 p.m. Pacific time. I keep saying 7.30. That was my old schedule. It hasn't been that way for a while. I don't know why I'm still stuck in those in that speech pattern. But yeah, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, uh, I'm going to be starting a new game on Friday. Uh, currently, we're doing Pokemon on Sundays and Tuesdays. Uh, so we'll come back to this run on... Uh, We'll come back to this one then, but uh, we're uh, starting something new on Friday, so look forward to that. Uh, I have a Discord server now. Uh, if you want to uh, hang out with other folks who watch the stream and learn about upcoming things they'll be doing, maybe participate in some special uh, become a pro warrior streamer. <laughs> uh, yeah, really just hone my craft in the WarioWare mines. Um, yeah, uh, if, if you want to keep up to date on, on what's happening on the twitch channel you can go ahead and join that the link is in my uh about uh, on my about page uh but i think that's gonna be about it so um thank you all very very much for tuning into the stream as always and as always remember to go to sleep or you'll die good night everybody have a good one <laughs>